of the run that he's had from 2012 to 2018, it's been a great run. But there is one match that a lot of people seem to be disappointed about. And it was in 2016, it appeared that maybe Brock Lesnar was going to be facing Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. There were some interactions at the Royal Rumble, at different shows, and then it changed to Dean Ambrose. And the match with WrestleMania, at WrestleMania with Dean Ambrose, not a lot of people talk about it or, or, or have favorable memories about it. And whenever Dean Ambrose has been asked about it, he seems very frustrated with how the match went. Oh, I'm sure Dean Ambrose is very frustrated with it. Is he frustrated with his own performance on the Stone Cold podcast? Whoa. Well, what? Well, what? I, I, didn't, I didn't insult him. I'm, I'm speaking the truth. You, want, you ask a question, you get an answer from me. Sorry that I'm being blunt. What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Did you see his performance on the Stone Cold podcast? Did it piss off Steve Austin? Did it piss you off too? And you think, actually, he didn't come into the match with Brock Lesnar with the same attitude? Ask Braun Strowman what happens when you take liberties with Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Ask Randy Orton what happens when you take liberties with Brock Lesnar. Ask The Undertaker what happens when you take liberties with Brock Lesnar. If that's what happened, because I'm not telling you that's what it was. I'm just throwing out a conspiracy theory for you to think about. You mess with Brock Lesnar, the match is not going to be that good. You're just going to get your ass kicked. You're going to get stretched. You're going to get thrown around, dumped on your head, and Brock Lesnar's going to go out and eat dinner and call you a when it's all over. That's it. That's it. Happened to Randy Orton. Happened to Dean Ambrose. Happened to The Undertaker. If that's what happened with The Undertaker, I'm not saying that it did. I'm not saying that it didn't. Happens to anybody that wants to cross Brock Lesnar. Ask Steve Austin how he feels about Dean Ambrose. I'm sure his, God damn him, that kid, he came on my podcast. I don't even know what the hell, I asked him a question, he's sitting there like he's half asleep on me. If Steve Austin come out, could have come out of retirement at that moment, he would have bitch slapped Dean Ambrose all over the stage. <laughs> it's the truth. Hey, but then again, that's Dean Ambrose's persona. And that goes back to what this gentleman was asking before. That's who Vince McMahon wants Dean Ambrose to be, so that's who Dean Ambrose is. If Dean Ambrose, if Dean Ambrose had done something so egregious that Vince McMahon didn't like it, Dean Ambrose wouldn't be working here anymore. So obviously he's doing something that Vince McMahon likes. Whether we like it, you like it, or anybody else likes it or not, that's a matter of conjecture. <laughs> anybody who thinks that Brock Lesnar is lazy is not taking a look at the right circumstance. Come on, lazy? Lazy got him to an NCAA Division I Heavyweight Championship. Lazy had him knock out Randy Couture in his fourth MMA fight. The greatest heavyweight champion of all time in UFC. Brock Lesnar didn't grapple Randy Couture, take him down, tap him out. He knocked out Randy Couture in his fourth professional fight. He works his way back to WWE after almost dying from diverticulitis. He comes into this locker room. He's 265 pounds. Then he goes back to 295 pounds, decides to fight a top eight heavyweight after six years out of the octagon named Mark Hunt. I have to say that name separately. Mark Hunt. Because if you say it fast, that's what happens to those Samoans, brother. Um, goes down to 265, beats Mark Hunt, and then comes back at 295 six weeks later in WWE and puts on a performance against Randy Orton that pissed off everybody to the point that people in the locker room thought it was for real. And maybe it was. Because I'm not telling you when it comes to Brock Lesnar. I'm just throwing it out there for you to decide for yourselves.